Hey everyone, Forrest here with Rocky Mountain School of Photography, and today we're gonna to talk about the differences between Lightroom and Lightroom Classic. Let's go ahead and dive in. So the first and most fundamental difference between the two programs is where your images are stored. Lightroom non-classic stores your images on the cloud. They're actually uploaded to Adobe's servers. When you go to edit a photo, that photo is downloaded, you're able to edit, and then those changes are pushed back up to the server. Lightroom Classic, on the other hand, is local storage. So your images are actually stored on your internal or external hard drive. Now this key difference brings me to a few things that we need to discuss related to image storage. The first being backing up. I'm a huge proponent of a good redundant backed up workflow. And in the Lightroom Classic world, because our images are stored locally, that backup routine is entirely on us. I've seen so many students who don't develop a good backup routine end up losing photos down the line because they haven't been copying one drive over to another. And that's just a requirement of using Lightroom Classic, you have to back up yourself. Lightroom non-classic, on the other hand, has the backup kind of taken care of for you. As soon as those images reach Adobe's servers, their servers are redundant, their servers are safe, so your images are automatically backed up. Now, I would take that a step further if I was gonna use Lightroom and I would have a kind of third copy copy, so to speak, or another copy on a local hard drive just in case, but the backup is done for you. And that's a really cool kind of feature of the Lightroom platform. Now, another thing this brings me to is upload time or import time, you could say. If I go and shoot a sporting event, say a football game, and I import 5,000 photos, if I'm using Lightroom Classic, I can get that entire import done and a backup made within a number of hours. Usually I'd say four to five hours for that number of photos. And that includes import time, backup time, everything. Lightroom, on the other hand, relies on your internet speed. So if you're somewhere where you don't have fast internet, maybe at home you don't have fast internet, and you shoot those same 5,000 photos, you could potentially be waiting weeks for those images to get uploaded to Adobe's server. And obviously, until that update's complete, that backup is not complete either. It has to reach the server in order to be safe and sound, which is really important to understand. Additionally, storage is limited, right? Lightroom Classic, because it's local, you can go buy an eight terabyte external hard drive these days for a few hundred dollars, like say 150 bucks. Well, that's gonna be a really cheap way to store very large volumes of images, whereas Lightroom, because it's cloud-based, we're paying $10 per month per terabyte for storage. So if you have five terabytes worth of images, you're looking at $50 a month just in storage to keep those images on the cloud. And that brings me right into pricing. Lightroom and Lightroom Classic are both part of Adobe's photography plan, and they're both can be had for $10 a month. Now there's a couple different ways you can do this, whether Photoshop is bundled in or whether you get more storage, but the takeaway is if you have under one terabyte of images, you can store your images on the cloud for $10 a month or locally for that same $10 a month. Another difference between the two programs really comes down to where you prefer to do your editing, where you prefer to do your work. Lightroom Classic is really built for a desktop or laptop based workflow, meaning you're sitting on a desk or you're sitting on your bed, but you have your laptop in front of you or a desktop computer. Additionally, if you're using external hard drives for storage, you're gonna have an external hard drive plugged into your computer. In fact, many of our students tape their hard drives to the back of their screen just to have it there all the time. You're kind of tethered to your external hard drives in the Lightroom Classic workflow. And you're also tethered to a physical computer. On the other hand, the cloud version, you can use mobile devices, right? I can actually bring up my Lightroom images on my phone or on my iPad or on whatever other device I have. I don't always have to be using a computer to access and work with those photos. Specifically, if I go on a trip and I only bring my iPad with me, I'm actually able to import photos from my camera into the Lightroom app on my iPad. And when I get home, those images are available in the Lightroom app on my computer. Everything intercommunicates, and it's a really smooth, again, because of the cloud-based system. Now, I do wanna dispel one myth. A lot of people think that because it's called Adobe Creative Cloud, that Lightroom Classic is cloud-based as well. And it's really, really not. So don't let the Adobe Creative Cloud part of it throw you off. Lightroom Classic is a local storage system. Lightroom is a cloud storage system. So despite all of those things, the last real difference is in the streamlining of the workflow, some features and some things like that. And I can safely say that when Lightroom first came out, it was missing a lot of features compared to Lightroom Classic. 
And that's not really the case anymore. There are some key things that you can't do in Lightroom that you can do in Classic, but they're getting fewer with every new release. Let's get into that. So the first thing is Lightroom Classic has a module picker where there's a library module, develop module, map, print, slideshow, book, and web. There's a lot of different things you can do in Lightroom Classic. Well, Lightroom doesn't have those things. Really, Lightroom is made for photo editing. It doesn't have a slideshow module. It doesn't have a uh, map module. It doesn't have a print module. But for developing images and the editing features, they're identical between the two versions of Lightroom. So don't think by switching from classic to Lightroom, you're gonna lose any editing uh, kind of ability and feature set with your photographs. Now with organization, there are some key differences. Lightroom Classic gives you much more kind of flexibility and options when it comes to your organization. And I would honestly say that if you're one of those people who love smart collections and normal collections and folders and renaming folders and all of those kind of like foundational organizational tools, many of those are not available in Lightroom. And the reason is that Lightroom favors instead more AI-based organization tools, things like face detection and AI keywording and things like that. I remember when I first switched to Lightroom, I was kind of like put off by the fact that I didn't have uh, folders, right? I had no way to make a new folder. It was very strange for me coming from Lightroom Classic. But as soon as I typed in the search bar, the word waterfall and every waterfall photo I had ever taken popped up before my eyes and I hadn't keyworded any of those with waterfall. They didn't live in an album called waterfall. It just the AI system that Adobe has identified that it was a waterfall. I was like, oh, all right, this is pretty cool. And, and that's another thing that Lightroom adds is this AI organization. So kind of the way to think about the organizational differences is if you're someone who's very hands-on with your organization, you want to put a lot of time into it and have everything work the way that you specifically want it to work, Lightroom Classic is gonna give you more options for that. If on the other hand, you really don't like spending time organizing and you'd rather spend time editing and shooting and things like that, Lightroom is gonna take care of a lot of that work for you with searchable albums, with people view, with all of these extra things that it builds in because your images are stored on the cloud. So all of this is to say that there's no real perfect program. I really think that Lightroom is a better option for a lot of people. I think Lightroom Classic is a better option for a lot of people. So let's get into that a little bit. And I would start by saying this, if you're a hobbyist photographer who shoots maybe, I don't know, a few hundred photos a week, maybe 200 photos a week for, for the whole year, I think that Lightroom is a phenomenal choice for you. It removes having to worry about missing photos, catalogs, backups, all of that kind of stuff because storing images in the cloud inherently gives us that safety and security and just uh, almost smoothness in our workflow. So hobbyist people, I think Lightroom is the best choice for most of you. The exceptions to that would be high volume shooters. If you're someone who shoots more than 200 images a week, or maybe you travel a lot and you don't always have access to a reliable internet connection, I think it might be easier for you to bring a hard drive with you, right? And be able to have a local copy. Wedding photographers, sports photographers, action photographers, if you're shooting two, three, four, five thousand photos in a week, that upload time to get your images to the cloud is gonna break your workflow. So for you, I think Lightroom Classic makes a lot more sense. Additionally, I would say if you're gonna be a professional photographer and work day in and day out producing images for clients, again, I think Classic is gonna have uh, a little bit of an edge just in the ability that it gives you for more advanced exporting options and more importing options, just ways to help a professional's workflow that only exists exist in Classic. And honestly, that's really the way that I see it. I almost think that uh, Adobe, rightfully so, is building Lightroom for hobbyist photographers. And I think they've done a phenomenal job of it. Classic, I think, will remain as the professional's choice, and I think it should. Um, it is important to note as well that programs like Capture One are starting to gain a lot of traction, specifically with professional non-commercial photographers. Capture One for years has been kind of the gold standard in the commercial photography world, and they're starting to pick up a lot of traction with their more catalog-based workflow. So if you're kind of going in that pro direction, I think Lightroom Classic or Capture One are both great options to look at. Now, I've been alluding to the fact that I actually have made the switch, and I have used Lightroom Classic for 
uh, over a decade now, I would assume, a long time since pre-Lightroom 1. I, I used the beta back when it first came out. And I recently, about three months ago, have switched to Lightroom, the cloud-based version. Um, and it was a little bit rough at first, but I have loved it. I absolutely adore it. And I'm very much a hobbyist photographer, right? Like most of what I do is I educate, I teach, I help photographers. I run the school here at RMSP. Um, but my photography is very hobbyist. Like I, I go out and shoot photos for fun. I'm not getting paid by clients to create those images. Um, we have instructors here who are working professionals and I would say, hey, stay with classic, right? Keep that as your primary thing. But for my workflow, Lightroom has worked very, very well. So here's what we're gonna do. This is actually gonna be the first video in a series of videos on transitioning from Lightroom classic to Lightroom. And I think that it's far, uh, it's about time that I make this video. I think it's important because I think there's a lot of you out there who've maybe struggled with the local backups and all of the extra work that comes with Lightroom Classic who might really benefit from the streamlined workflow that Lightroom has to offer. So if you want to learn more about this, definitely hit that subscribe button and drop a like down below. I would also love comments on this. If you have some sort of insight into your life and what you've experienced with Lightroom versus Lightroom Classic, any insight you can share with anybody, I want this video to just serve kind of as a way for all of us to communicate and help each other decide what version of the program is best for you. Thanks everybody, I really appreciate it and I hope to catch you in a future video.